Hi guys and welcome to the first ever speed build I have done. So um, here is the, oh I don't know what I'm going to call it at the moment. Um, oh Bell Size Park is what I'm going to call it because it's actually based on a house that I walked past once. So um, and the house was just so lovely that I had to take a picture and I was like, oh, this is my dream house. Um, I particularly love the Georgian style of houses that are in London. So what better one to do to start off with. So um, I have actually been working on another Georgian house, which is more like a Georgian manor, like a huge mansion, we'd say, rather than... Um, this is literally just on a regular road in London. So, but a Georgian manor is like, we'll probably be out in the country. So this is, it's not a townhouse. I don't know what kind you'd actually call it. Um, because not a townhouse, like townhouses be kind of narrow and, so I have no idea what you'd call this. This is a, just a Georgian house, full stop. So, um, as you can see, I am trying to pick a door. I thought I was going to go with Peacemaker because, yeah, serious crush on that CC. Um, but it's all a bit modern and I wanted the outside to look traditional, um, but the inside to be like fully renovated, modern. I, I don't know if I can, I don't normally decorate in a traditional way. I normally do traditional looking houses, but they're always like they've just been fully renovated. And actually, the house that I took a picture of was actually fully renovated. So I know I've seen this style of house before and I normally see it um, done in brick sometimes. But the one I took a picture of was actually fully rendered. So that's what this one ends up like. Um, but I just, I think it works well, hopefully. Um, but let me tell you. This is part one of the adventure because it was so long that I'm going to have to break it down into two parts. Um, as I speak right now, there is no part two. So at the moment, this has just been fully um, built on the outside, landscaped, but the interior is yet to be done. I've put things like I just put lights throughout just to light it up and so I can see and I've put a swimming pool in, spoiler alert. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a labour of love. <laughs> so I've managed to cut it down a lot. So it's, it probably it was just this first stage was like four hours and I've managed to cut it down to 31 minutes sped up. So I am feeling pretty good about it. There are a few cuts in this just to, to kind of take out the unnecessary rubbish. Uh, for example, I think we're going to have a cut, well, we're going to have a cut pretty soon because I spent forever trying to find windows. I'm thinking of actually getting rid of my, some of my CC um, because it's almost like I have too much choice. But the thing is, I have too much choice, but there's never anything that is perfect. Um, but the windows that you see on the uh, middle level, I have a, a CC one of those that is just one window wide, so that's really good. I was, but I didn't get to use those. Um, but what I'm trying to do is not use too much CC, so that maybe there's a possibility that I can link the CC that I've used. But it's probably not going to happen actually. Yeah. We're, oh. We've already had a cut because, um, yeah, and I take forever to do the roof as well. Which I think in real life the roof is just like that. But to me, in The Sims sometimes, roofs just look a bit weird. As you can see behind it, I had, um, I actually had that section over across the middle. So there was that with the, like a window in the middle. But I got rid of it and now this is kind of what the finished, yeah, this is what the finished one actually looks like. So a half wall, I was like, I did all this stuff, trying to find different fences, trying to find anything that I could 
<laughs> to make this roof look good and then I was like duh half walls how did you not think of this so we end up going with the half wall and I would love it if they put like a few more freezes in um like the um the house in real life was kind of really simple uh freezes and moldings um I'm just putting on the bricks down the side I wish they were a little bit bigger but the house has these kind of well they're not even bricks they're meant to be blocks so um these ones look more kind of like the size of a brick so but I also now am I yeah I'm attempting to find the colour for the house which I got to confess I'm a bit of a I love grey I do quite like that kind of taupe colour that I got on there you never know it could go back to that um I end up that one also looks nice oh now I'm seeing all of this back I'm like oh should I have should I have maybe um but yeah we end up going with that on the bottom which is meant to look like the big um white blocks this house didn't actually have it on it but I think it just looked it was just too much having all of the levels in one particular um wallpaper it just it didn't look great loads of things that, that are in real life just don't translate well to the sims for example there's loads of these houses out there in london that are just painted white like the everything is white and they look amazing in real life and then in the sims not too hot so so kind of when you're building it in the sims you just gotta kind of adapt to what actually looks good and here i am trying to put like just a little balcony bit that was just my interpretation because the real house doesn't have that but unfortunately there isn't a door that goes over three tiles so um we just had to stick with the um window there and some bins outside because i think that's where they'd keep them they'd probably actually keep them down in the basement and there'd be some kind of access up to the street level but um i don't have enough space to do that in the sims so um i've just put the bins up here the wheelie bins and um the mailbox as well so now what am i doing am i sorting out the down below bit oh and i quite like the way that i've done the um window boxes because i think they're a, they're a modern thing on a jordan house so it does still kind of reinforce the um jordan house but fully renovated kind of vibe that i was going for because i really don't think i could do a traditional Georgian mind you I think maybe the next one if I do finish the Georgian manor it would probably be traditional because I don't I really don't I don't know if I see a manor being modern like I don't see someone buying a whole manor and then deciding they're going to refurb it to be modern I see that in this kind of small-ish house I say small-ish it's got like what four levels because we have a basement as well um and here I'm just trying to sort out the basement um, we do end up putting a pool down there and um, we have kind of outdoor area and half of that space is gonna go soon so we don't have all that space outside but I really like um you know when you draw a fence if you pull it from the house it has the foundation on it and but if you just start it normally it doesn't have foundation I like the way that it actually looks like it's um concrete at the bottom because there's loads of that's really in right now is having like the concrete plinth at the bottom of the fences and then having the wood above so i think that works really well i prefer that like the foundation with the fence rather than just having the fence um but i made it just the fence where the gate is so that you don't have to have steps to go up into the garden so you can just walk straight through because the floor has been taken away and it's just at regular floor level so i was using this fence down there and that is custom content i take it away because i thought i'm not too sure i'm someone that uses a lot of custom content normally in my regular games but there are some people that just don't like it so in the entrance of 
interest of being fair I'm trying not to use too much CC that if you don't have it the house will be like totally ruined without it so um, I've got to say the front door is actually CC but it is just a recolor of one of the um, houses that I was already in houses one of, one of the doors that's already in the game so um, you can just swap it out it's just that they didn't have a white door sorry a white frame with a black door so um i just love the black door <laughs> so, so i put in some cc for that but you can just swap it out for the um regular one i think it comes in like all white and it comes in like a light wood with a white door it just doesn't come with a black door so you can easily swap that one out and uh, we haven't i uh, hear i was trying attempting to kind of do an extension bit a kind of modern glass cube extension but I'm like no no one would actually do that kind of extension that's not really extension because <laughs> it's not, <laughs> it's not adding a lot to the build so I don't think you could say while they were renovating they decided just to add this bit on because it just doesn't make sense so that will be gone pretty soon pretty pretty soon um yeah I'm Yep, changing over now to just regular walls and um, windows instead of all of that CC. But I do love that fence, but the only problem is when you use it, it doesn't recognise that it's a proper room because you've finished it, finished the room with a fence, which is a bug that the Sims team needs to sort out because it's been there forever. Just the same with... Um, you know when you try and create a balcony and you're using the fence railing and you want to do kind of like a, um, a double height room uh, it just does not like you finishing the room completing a room with a fence which is most annoying I, I'm sure it, I'm sure it wasn't always like that I'm pretty sure that's a kind of recent thing I don't think the base game it did that I don't think when it was first released it did that but it does now so as you can see I'm forever attempting to change what is on that chimney and here I'm trying again to kind of replicate the front and then I'm thinking no let's make it balcony and then I'm thinking no let's go back and I just make them regular balconies um I use the same fence at the front but then I thought nope and um, I'm pretty oh, I'm just all over the place in this one I tried and tried and tried to put all these trees down there in the basement but they just look weird when you went to the top so I end up just putting a kind of small little line of plants going along um, so that's what I'm doing now and it's not a lot of light getting down to the basement but I think that does actually just replicate what happens in real life because um, basements are pretty dark but I, d I don't think lots of light actually comes in from the back of the house either so I'm going to need to put plenty of lighting in there when I actually eventually furnish it <laughs> so um, yeah those hedges go yep and we just put in a few bits there but I do enjoy making this it's just that I take so long to build which is really annoying um if you I watched a video by Hatsy um who's an amazing builder and I saw her build she did a few I think she did a few videos where she built in real time and oh my god I was like like it looks like she builds so fast it looks like she's building sped up like she builds this fast basically speed build is her normal build she'll be like oh it took me 50 minutes and you'll be like to her that's long to me that's like oh my god it's never gonna happen because i just changed my mind five million times about the paint look i'm doing it again i'm changing <laughs> what i want um do actually end up going grey I think I think we're gonna get there now to the, the final yeah that is what we end up uh, staying with this grey it just needs a bit of contrast so that the um, those bits there those blocks on the side um, actually stood out 
so yet again something that in real life I probably well the, the house in um that I took a photo was actually kind of like a taupe color but it was quite subtle so but we don't have that color in the sims and here I'm using these um what do you call them they're just balustrades aren't they balustrades that we got with um get together and I wish they would actually just turn them into a regular fence as well because it would save me time because <laughs> you'll see in a bit I do the top one and I use the kind of equivalent fence that we have at the moment and it's just it does not look as good so <laughs> I have to go through and do all of this again and make the balconies which they're only small ones so I don't even know if I can might be just about put a chair out there um, and I haven't made the top of that extension basically at the back I haven't made that accessible so I might do um, I've done the floor plan for it which you'll see in a bit and um, I'm kind of leaning to like the top floor that we're on now being like massive um, master suite so it would have half of it probably just for the bedroom and then I'm going to put in a huge um, walk-in wardrobe slash bathroom so the whole floor is going to be the master suite I think probably end up having a study on the next floor down below um, but things could change and the floor pan still might change from what's shown in this one so don't play it that much attention as you can see I'm trying to go through all these windows again um i do love these windows i go on um what's his name moose and what's it m-u-s-t-k-e i don't know how you pronounce that anyway that person's windows that they're on the sims resource they're amazing I think I have all of them. Those are the Cheshire ones, so they're meant to be kind of stately home windows, which kind of suit it. Um, but there were a few, I think there was just a few too many lines for me to do those all over. I, so, I, and I tried to use as many EA, um, you know, base game windows as possible so that you didn't have to keep, there's not a lot to do if you get this and you don't have the cc and you don't want to have the cc so if you get this it will just kind of either replace it with um default options or it will just be gone most of the times i just see the doors are kind of gone i don't ever see them replacing it with another door which is weird they should just replace it with another door but um and we have that uh sunken bit there which i really like um i was gonna make it into the kitchen but I think it's a little bit too small just having the stairs going down to it takes up a lot of space so I think that's going to end up being like a sitting area or something um, and you can see that that skylight you can see down to the pool down below so I think that looks cool I have not actually been anywhere that actually has that <laughs> I wish I knew people that had humongous. What I would actually like is I've seen. So I'm a huge Pinterest fan, like really bad. And um, on the boards that I have for design, for well, interior design and architecture, I keep on seeing like skylights. Like this, it's really popular for people to build new extensions and then put some kind of skylight in for example on the basement there should be like a skylight or um from the roof down there should be but i would like it if they could just change the dance floor into what like, one tile wide options or i'd like a un illuminated um dance floor so if the sims can just actually make a skylight like a regular one so that we don't have to do this dance floor because it, you know it doesn't always sit well with whatever um 
look you're going through for your house but um, as you can see I'm putting in the floor plan we actually have um, a double story um, living room I think what floor are we on here no it's not this is, this is this is the um, masters no is it the masters no this is where we do um, I try and take that away and then the um, moulding is showing through <sighs> so I kind of had to make the um, overlook overlook what do they call it again no the mezzanine kind of level thing gimme bobby um, smaller so I wanted it double height all the way across but you can't because this stupid thing is there <laughs> so um, we make that in, end up making that into one like long room but you can see down but I don't know what's gonna be down there so you might not actually want to see it so we might move the double story height to somewhere else just all depends where the kind of living space goes we normally just have it over the um, living space for a double height story double height oh, what's it called two story two story ceiling oh, I don't know seriously speaking to this mic and I just turned down but um yeah so this is the top floor well it was the top floor um I'm putting in some what they call dormers that's the one um we end up moving a bit closer yeah I went with three top that was just too wide the one in the middle so um, it will end up being one uh, tile wide and we move in the ones that either side because they just look a bit strange that they start where the roof has already sloped um, so we just move those in in a little bit and of course like always I have to try and play with uh, rooftops here I, th I don't know if I kept it in but um, I did attempt, attempt, uh, attempt to put regular roofs on top of those dormers and yeah they look awful so they end up just staying like that actually in the finished one yeah there we go I attempt it doesn't it looks kind of like um a Cape Cod home that's what it looks like now <laughs> so that wasn't the look I was going for so yep now we're bringing it all together yeah not that close and uh, yeah we still got to do the um, landscaping I think after this so I'm quite happy with um, the way it looks from the roadside and what we're we doing now yep landscaping so I tend to put the dirt down where I want the plants to be and doing this I can kind of work out what shape I want to go for um and it just makes it easier to put things down i think some people put the um, dirt down afterwards after they put all the plants down but i kind of like to do it just to plan where i'm gonna put different plants so you can work out like what shape works well in that area and things like that um we kind of went for a tropical kind of like a mini oasis in your garden so it's kind of totally disconnected from the outside like the everything that's surrounding it so we put in kind of um, what are they called it's not banana no not banana I'm thinking banana leaves and they're not what are those large what does it say I can't read what it says I don't know large palm or something yeah we put we put those in and some grasses and I kept it kind of minimal lots of green lots and lots of we're going green crazy green white and I think we stuck in those are blue but let's just pretend that they're white because the white ones that they have a white color option for that but it's a different flower and it doesn't look nice so yep we have a palm there maybe I should put a few more in but um, I put in white flowers and 
Oh, I put irises in, which are those ones. What are they? Pink and white. So a few of those going around. Um, but I like it. I don't. I, it's a really small garden because you've got the extension taking up all the space and the sunken bit. So I kind of just kept it that it is garden. There's nothing else trying to go in there. So I don't think you've really got space to start growing plants in this one. It's not really practical. You, this is um, a 30 by 20. Yeah, 30 by 20 lot. So you could move it to the Newcastle one, which is what was it, 20 by 40. And then you could probably extend your garden. Then you could have a real kind of garden patch. And also I'm putting in there the terrain paint for the grass. I use the one that's called um, Natural Oasis. And putting in a few rocks. I don't usually put rocks in, but I see everyone using them. I feel like I should be able to use them myself. <laughs> um, I hope you think I've used them well, because it is actually the first time, confessing, first time I've used rocks in a garden. But yeah, I want to keep it just very green. So you kind of come through and you're kind of transported into a completely different world down there. So in this bit, I really like the whole wood on the walls there. And it's kind of like, I don't know what you'd call that. But it just looked cool. I'm sure I must have seen that in a design magazine or something somewhere. But I like the whole sunken thing of, you know, the um, basement is really the true floor level. That's why we need, um, what's it, um, terrain editing tools because there's loads of times it would look great if it was on like a sloping lot if it was high at the front and then um, went low at the back so you saw more the basement was kind of like at regular level and the front was oh that doesn't make any sense but you know what I mean terrain editing tools please thank you oh just moved my chair into my bed um, so yes, and also I've done this kind of like atrium going through that holds all the um, stairs and I'm trying to sort this, they were all f I think f four or five long and then for some reason this one, maybe the um, level of the uh, walls were tall or something but the stairs were longer and it was annoying me, <laughs> so um, no those are that's a tall wall as well but for some reason from the basement oh I know why from the basement up to the first level which is on a foundation they need longer stairs so oh, I literally just work that out now um, so I'm going in putting doors this is the master suite and it's just going to have an archway into the very 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 luxurious um, walk-in wardrobe slash bathroom um, and of course I'm going, I changed all of the windows in the atrium to be silver but I think I'm going to keep the black windows because I just want to make sure that you kind of can tell that it's the new um, extension part of the house and it's not the original bit so we're just going to keep something different um, and now we're uh, oh doing the kind of bridgeway and over, because um, I thought you need access on this ground level, yeah, to the garden. Otherwise you'd have to go all the way down to the basement to then go up and out to the garden. So I've made this kind of walkway. Well, it was going to be a walkway, and then it kind of ends up being the whole, a whole level. So I don't, we end up getting... Yeah, it goes all the way across. Cause it looks kind of cool like that, but I wanted it to kind of be wood, and you can't get a wood effect um, foundation. So I wanted it to kind of be the same wood as the walls in down there. So I suppose it's good that the basement is kind of covered. Then you won't get wet when it rains. But we don't have seasons, so that's not a problem. <laughs> um, but that kind of sort of the issue of getting from the main part of the house into the garden. 
And for some reason when you put those together they don't line up properly which is weird you would have thought they're just perfect squares and when you move them they just line up but they don't um so what have we got oh we're we just doing lighting yes so this is the last bit of the exter ex external yeah external bits um we end up putting oh yes the most important topiary which I'm pretty sure there's actually some of that in the house that I took a picture of. And this light, as you can see, I go through every single street light I have in there. That should show up in your game. It's the, um, what's it, plastic box unlocked items. So they're the items that are used in, around the world, um, but they're just available in build by. Um, and so they should show up in your game, that light and you don't need to actually have custom content I don't think it counts as custom content so it should show up but I think it looks cool just having one there and I also put um, like a drain pipe down the side so we are coming to the end I don't know what else have we got left oh and I put a wall here you never know you could have a barbecue out. so um, this house isn't actually finished yet I haven't done the interior well I started it but it's not done so um, next video will be up soon with all the interiors and stuff um, and the screenshots so um, thanks for watching this one anyway see you soon again bye guys